died and I tried to contact them on Facebook. I wrote them and they didn't bother to reply and I will actually call them up and ask them but they don't have a phone number weird and uh, from what I read the manager of the place is not that nice but I will I will still want to take you there I don't know um, maybe I can email I have all the tools needed to rose but have no clue how to set it up uh to roast in the air fryer it takes a bit of practice to put the chicken on those spears but after you and use um, um chef rope or how you butcher rope to tie the chicken legs and wings and so yeah i did that and Google and you're gonna find something online. Let's see. Uh, chicken, rotisserie chicken, Google or on YouTube. Rotisserie chicken recipes on YouTube. And let's see. Look, I found one. Copy link. Look, I found a video on YouTube. So yeah, if the weather is good, uh, next week when I go to Bucharest, I'm going to do a stream from there and I would love to take you to that place that I have in my mind. Um, I just hope, I don't want to walk all the way up there and they don't let me inside. Maybe I should email them or something <laughs> because it's a really nice place to visit and yeah. I want, I want, I want, we're making coffee and burger rest, <laughs> burger rest, no, <laughs> it's called Bucharest from a guy called Bukur. My wife wants roasted chicken as part of Easter dinner. I was gonna buy one already cooked. You can make it like this if you have and use your own spices. What I found with rotisserie chicken is really good, but sometimes they can go over the board with salt. And that's kind of a no-no for me because yeah, I don't like to add too much salt, you know, on, on my meals. So if, Welcome back. Oh, okay. I thought he's burger is the capital of burgers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I understand what you said, but no, he's just Bucharest from a guy called Bukur. It says three minutes. I will check again the temperature. But that will be a Christmas miracle to be done that fast. It had one kilogram and 300 grams of chicken, so like three pounds almost, right? That means three pounds. Welcome back. Uh, I want my, uh, my mixer. make coffee half and half <laughs> uh, I need to be careful with this not to let it to lower in the cup you know because it's touching the glass and it makes some yucky noise
Okay, so it's one minute. So we check again the temperature to see if inside reach the temperature. If didn't, we lower the temperature and put it again a few more minutes. I hope I'm not gonna have to clean too much this. What herb did I use? I used salt and pepper, onion powder, thyme, and paprika. Simple, simple. You can stuff it with rosemary springs or thyme springs if you have. I didn't put anything inside, just these spices. Okay, so this says that it's ready. Let's see. Are you ready or not? And I try to stick here in the breast where is more, you know, thicker part, in the thicker part of... And has 72 Celsius inside. So this says it is done. Should we trust it? It says 73 Celsius. The weight, one... 1.3 kilograms 1.3 so says it is done should we trust or should we put it a bit longer just to be safe let's do this no not that what are you doing you're crazy i don't want fries air fryer you crazy No, use a, I use a thermometer. I use a... I use a thermometer. I had the thermometer. I use it. Already, I said 73 Celsius inside. And it says it is done, but I don't know. But I want to have it a few more minutes at a lower temperature. You know, I like chicken to be done. I don't want it to be... You said? Should we trust it? <laughs> nice smoked paprika is my favorite spice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and why it stopped now? Uh, it says it is done, but I am not trusting it. You know what I mean? I am <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. I didn't press it right. <laughs> Sometimes I'm asking questions out loud that are actually, you know, should stay inside my mind. I mean, <laughs> does the air fryer automatically test the temperature internally? No, no, no. I have my own thermometer. No, the air fryer cannot do that. I mean, doesn't, oh my goodness, I'm doing mess here. No, no, no. The air fryer is like an oven, takes the temperature in the oven, you know, but I had my own thermometer. <laughs> and then some questions should, yours does? What? <laughs> Internally of what? <laughs> but doesn't rotate? So my, my, oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, we need to DIY a spinning engine for Calscott uh, uh, oven. 
I have never tested the temperature of my food, me either. Usually when I'm cooking in the oven, you know, in an, when I'm making chicken roast or something like that, um, I am basing my, you know, on my reasons and my eyes and my nose and everything. And with chicken, if you wiggle the leg uh, and comes out easily from the joint, it's done. But here, because the chicken is placed in that spear type of situation, you cannot actually do the wiggling of the leg. So this is why I prefer to use a thermometer. <laughs> it has a built-in thermometer that you can put in the meat? What is this futuristic thing? What? What? Oh my god, nice! I, yeah, nice, nice. I have a thermometer that Carlsco sent me and I have another one that is like actually meat thermometer. I don't use this often because, yeah, I use the other one, it's more... Look, I have this one and actually has on the dial here chicken, pig, um, sheep or lamb and, uh, and beef or cow mm -hmm. like baby will say and yeah I can use this one my micro has a thermometer also what you so fancy my oven doesn't even show time and temperature I live in Stone Age <laughs> super smart thingies you have yeah, so I can use this one. Okay. But also I don't know what the temperature should be. <laughs> Chicken tartar. Yeah, look, this one has actually the animals on the dial and you don't need to remember yourself the temperatures or something. See, it has a chicken, it has a pig, a sheep, and a cow on the dial. If I get another air fryer, it'll be stainless steel. My air fryer is a pain to clean inside. Once we can control the microwave with phones, I'm done. <laughs> Hugs. Once we can control my grave with the power of our mind, I'm done. <laughs> it's one of those accessories that you just leave in the box, it came in. <laughs> so even if that thermometer said it is done, I'm still going to let cook more <laughs> yeah so this is a cool thermometer I bought it on a sale on the store and yeah I want to see if I have spring onion I have guess what I have <laughs> I have one of these bunch like these. I have a handheld thermometer that I use, works great. <laughs> it's like Friday. Because tomorrow someone is gonna be off work. Because tomorrow someone is gonna be off work. Guys, I cannot believe I ordered tribe soup for tomorrow. See what you make me do. See, I blame you. <laughs> I blame you. Friday for you, yes. It was about the effects of MMO, the issue of global warming. What? Get that song out of my head. 
starts mumbling, it's Friday, Friday. <laughs> it's Friday, Easter is closed for you. We're celebrating Easter next Sunday. But for you, it's already Easter. Oh, guys, I really want to see in Discord uh, meals that you're prepping for Easter. Come on, come on, inspire me, show off, show me what you're cooking for Easter. Or any other holidays you celebrate, like Passover, Ramadan, I don't know. Just post pictures with whatever you've been cooking. I want to see. Whoa! Makawaka! <laughs> Makawaka never said if he's cooking or not. Makawaka, do you cook? Thank you so much for being this. Thank you. Gracias. Kamsa unidari gato merci. She she. Thank you. Thank you. Big smiley. Happy Passover. Yes, yes, yes. Whatever you're celebrating. Post pictures in Discord with whatever you're cooking. And tomorrow it is um, Friday. That means we're going to see each other in Discord for movie night. So bring snacks. Chak shmak. I hope I'm pronouncing. I don't know how to pronounce. So I hope I am not butchering that bad. <laughs> we have lovely community here with people from all over the world, you know. And I love to discover your culture. I love to discover your food culture <laughs> hi one minute and this should be done and we're using this i want to stop the chicken in a position uh, but i will take it out anyway okay let's put this here i want to bring it here so i can show it to you pronounce horse mark Hoshamak, like that? Hoshamay. Hoshamayak. Hoshamayak. <laughs> I'm really bad, sorry. Okay. One minute and this should be done. Let's see the temperature. I'm gonna bring it here. Whoa. Okay. Okay. So this is, uh, I wish it could be on like this. Whoa, look at this. It smells really good. See? Looks good. Okay, let's tag this in here. And let's see if the temperature inside is okay or not. <laughs> okay, okay, it's going. It's going more. It's going more. It's going more. <laughs> Looks really nice. Let me... Oh, I put it with the plastic thingy. Oh my God, I'm so bad. <laughs> you can see that I don't use it. I, it has a plastic in the tip, so I put it with that on. <laughs> I am lost. Oh my goodness, I lost this with us. Hi, how are you feeling? I haven't saw you in so long. I hope you're good. Okay. Okay, more, come on chicken. It, it says 80 something, but it's like the pig, it's not like the chicken. Didn't reach the thingy here, you know? Like didn't reach the chicken here. See, should be here. So we put this more. I'm gonna put it back until it's done. 
or until the thermometer says it is done. Yeah, stay there, chicken. I ain't talking to you. Alos, how are you? How are you feeling? Okay, let's start making the the um, stir fry thing while the chicken stays there. I hope it's gonna cook fast. I'm gonna use this. I can oh, the close-up camera. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Next week, hopefully, we're going to have the other thing so we can use the, the Sony camera. Alos, thank you so much. Do you okay? Thanks a lot happening. The, the chicken still has feather on it. <gasps> no, it doesn't. <laughs> doesn't have, have feathers we pluck them up but if you see any you can singe the chicken you know thank you so much joking yeah no because sometimes you can buy and it has some but i pluck them up <laughs> Los, thank you so much i hope you're feeling better ew yeah, but I saw feathers on the chicken that you buy from McDonald's too, you know, on the wings. Mm -hmm. If you see the chicken is fine. <laughs> okay, here I'm going to put some oil. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to start cooking onions and garlic. Imagine cooking chicken and start screaming inside their fryer. Feathers are extra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually I cook chicken to 74 Celsius and check to see if the chicken is actually cooked. So it has more than 74, has like 80 Celsius inside. This is why I was checking first if it is or if it's around 74 myself too. But yeah, that thing, this one shows it has to be like 90 this one and didn't reach that i'm scared <laughs> feathers are free yeah 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 more proteins 165 but why this is showing this 90 like is more than pork more than anything this is what shows here see 90 because has already this temperature like 80 celsius inside 100 has more than 165 having feathers meaning not cooked <laughs> we use digital instant red thermometer yeah i have the the digital one oh my god i need to put here i had the digital one too i'll put some spring onion I know it's done right the chicken but okay it's done then simple and works great yeah, I have this one too. I have the digital one too. Look, I have the digital too. 
I try to poke it in a place that I haven't poked it before and where it's a thicker part. Look! So... You see? Seventy-three. See? It is. I don't know if you see. Seventy-four. See? Looks good. I don't like to talk about thermometer. Remind me of getting C. Cook perfectly. It is. See? It is. I was just, I don't know why the other one shows like that. What that means on the other one. Why the other one shows like that. The chicken like 90. What that is. I don't know. So I don't know. 75 now. See, even... Oh my god, Unload, thank you so much. Thank you so so much. Whoa, <laughs> that was loud. Thank you. That was loud. Sio <laughs> Bizu, hello, thank you so much, and lost. Seems like 90 says will make the chicken meat dry yeah but why it shows this this is a german thermometer you know this one this is a german thermometer i thought i lost the thingy here I don't know why it says this. Maybe that's not a chicken and it's some animal out of the planet. <laughs> Turn out great. Yeah, looks really nice. Don't touch the metal thing, okay, until it's not cooling down a bit. And don't look in the air fryer right after because it's looking bad. It's gonna take some time to clean it up. And I told you, my assistant didn't show up today to do dishes and clean the air fryer, so... <laughs> the chicken has a grey color. Yes, indeed. Let's do the... Look here at the joint. Let's cut this rope. Guys, my mom didn't cook with a thermometer and then I never use a thermometer in the oven you know when i made roast or anything like that i always looked at the joint and do you see this comes out of the joint and it's nice and juicy see this just comes out that's the test you don't need much thermometer you don't want to break these in case the chicken is not cooked and it's gonna spin weird in the air fryer shake heads <laughs> yes Nice to see you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna eat you up. <laughs> yeah, nice and juicy and delicious. <laughs> see, this leg here, that means it's done. <laughs> <laughs> that broken leg is like my broken shoulder. Oh, sorry, I lost. How you were with the doctors? They still didn't call you at the hospital for surgery. That's why I said over here, you shake the thigh of poultry, it doesn't loosen, it's done. If it 
Plus am zis, da, yeah, man, my this is how I used to, you know. <laughs> But I wonder how I'm gonna take this out. You know, that's the tricky part. How you take the metal thing out? <laughs> Getting better, no dog. They said, no surgery. They said it will be okay in four to six months. Oh my god, that's good news because surgery, recovering after surgery is gonna take a long time and a lot of, um, you know, therapy and so. So you, you go that you don't need surgery. Legit, I'm happy for you. Recovering after surgery, cool. So take it easy, don't do anything crazy. <laughs> We have to show and lost the cake that we made yesterday. Huh? We should do that. And lost, you wanna see cake? I need the chicken to be better cooked. Recovering after being in hospital hospital sucks. It's true. True. Okay, let's move the thermometer of life here. I don't know how I'm gonna take this peer out but maybe my asbestos fingers will do does it mem just look amazing <laughs> i do want to see cake okay let me take this spear out of this chicken if i can yeah i don't know how you take this out to be honest Oh, okay, okay, look at me. Nope, okay, I did it. Don't lose the screws on this thingy because, yeah. And here. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. That's there. Let's move this. Let's stir a bit into this. I know it seems a lot of vegetables, but I'm trust me, I'm gonna eat them all because they're gonna bulk up the meal and they have a lot of water. But and I'm gonna add more of those uh, soy sauce and things that we put on the meat on the vegetables too let's see if we can get the cake out i didn't took pictures of the cake today and i try to find a way of taking the cake out without um, breaking that log let's see can i do this can i do this can i do this no i cannot do this Okay. Whoa. Guys, I hope I make it. I hope I make it. This is the cake. Chicken looks good. This is the cake. <laughs> Party at my house. Already know cake is going to look amazing. Look at this cake. 
look at this cake. <laughs> Terrific. <laughs> look at this cute cake. And it's green. Let me see if I can. Oh, okay. Maybe it's gonna be a stream on in the dark, you know? Look at this. Look at this cake. <laughs> ah, isn't this pretty? Isn't this pretty? <laughs> yeah, I need to... Tomorrow my sister comes to pick it up. So I need to take pictures before she's coming, definitely. Looks so cute! <laughs> Mentally skinny, how are you? Truly great, looks super cute. My sister will love it. And the baby, imagine when, uh, when her baby is gonna see the cake, huh? Imagine Vlodut seeing the cake. He's gonna be so happy. I know you need a walk and I need you need high temperature for this stir fry, but I like to yap with you. A cake like that will cost a hundred dollars when I where I am. Oh, I wish I could be closer to you guys so I can make the cakes for you. <laughs> You know, I would love to, yeah, I would love to. I would love to make cakes for you. I'm gonna give it to my sister. <laughs> Where I live, a cake like that will cost a quadrillion euros. <laughs> I saw people that are buying cakes that you can buy in the supermarket you know some frozen cakes or even little heads not frozen ones but they're in the refrigerator part of the store and they make decorations on top of those <laughs> i saw people doing that yeah a similar price yeah I hope they put the, the drop of love in the cakes, you know, for a hundred dollars. I hope they put a, a drop of, of love. Here the cakes are sold by weight. So uh, they, they measure the weight of them. In the, if you go to a cake shop or something. Yeah, they measure the weight. Let's put some chili garlic sauce over this I made it with you on stream some soy sauce more soy sauce this is sweet soy sauce and I'm gonna add some of these because I really like the taste of these like that and I want some chili flakes and this is a stir fry seasoning with lemongrass and I'm gonna add some of that. Okay, that's a lot. <laughs> a plain chocolate cake costs between 40 to 50 dollars. I haven't bought a cake in, I don't know, more than 10 years. I haven't, yeah. Uh, like a cake, you know, this type of birthday cake or something like that. I haven't. Last time I bought a dessert in a store was from McDonald's. The cherry pie from McDonald's, the fried cherry pies from McDonald's. I treated myself with one and I haven't ate one of those in like more than 10 years. I made the desserts myself. We are allowed to put bricks in the cake to make them heavier. 
I have seen a place here where they cut a cake into 16 slices and charge anywhere from 9 to 14 per slice depending on the cake. I will get key lime pie for Easter. I think in where in Toronto or I don't remember where I flew uh, when I went to Canada last time. What airport did I went to? Not Toronto. I don't think I went to Toronto. Um, I forgot. They had in a fridge like a dispenser like you buying water and comes through you know they had cakes like that like how you say in a slice in a box and you could pay and the slice will come through that and yeah you could eat it in the airport i don't remember where i went to montreal i think yeah last time guys i've been in so many planes in the past two years like who am i <laughs> Bug kitten, hello, hello, how are you? Hello. So I increase the fire on these. I don't know if this eye here is so tiny. I want more temperature, you know, and this eye is the tiniest one. I want sizzle, sizzle, I need sizzle. And I will add some rice as well. I have some rice from yesterday and this will bulk up the meal as well. I'm not gonna add all of that because I like the rice to eat it sometimes just as it is, but some of it I'm still gonna add there. Sizzle is the world, yes! We need sizzle! <laughs> da, 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 da. I watched the stream where the guy hitchhikes, he was in Japan and bought a can of hot soup from a vending machine. <laughs> Yeah, so in the airport you could buy you could buy cake, slice of cake. In our airport, you can buy whole rotisserie chicken from a vending machine, just kidding, and you eat it in the plane. Imagine taking a chicken in the plane and start munching on, you know, like the whole plane is just, everyone is just fainting, drying out over there. <laughs> um, hi, Octavius. Hello, hello. Hope you find doing well. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Thank you so much. I appreciate. Thank you. Yeah, imagine the hunger of the people in the plane, like, oh my god, <laughs> that would be cruel. Let's put some rice. You can use noodles. I have this rice here and I'm going to add it over. But I'm gonna save some. It's basmati and it smells so good, like super yum, nutty flavor. And I have more spring onion over there. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. I have some sesame seeds. 
that I can put on top to where is it? Where is it? Sesame seeds. Have it here. Got so warm in my kitchen now. I have twenty two Celsius here because I use the Oh. I'm hungry too, yeah, ma'am. What you gonna eat? Look, some sesame seeds on top over there. What you gonna eat today, ma'am? I should. Guys, next week, hopefully, we're gonna use another camera as main camera, the Sony one. Oh, are you ready? We're improving here the stream. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, look at this. Sauerkraut today? Oh my god, yes, a Sony camera. And I'm gonna use the main camera for the cutout. So we improve the stream, okay? we're doing better <laughs> i need to head out thank you so much blue have an awesome day thank you so so much thank you i i will open a kombucha because i need this food is too good not to open a kombucha and yesterday i didn't have any so i need i need my kombucha because i already have other bottles that are over there fermenting Thank you so much, Blue. Have an awesome day. Thank you. See you Saturday. Tomorrow in Discord. We have movie night in Discord tomorrow. So don't forget to join us for that. Let's put spices back. Let's put it back. Make room here. And I'm going to open a kombucha. This here. And the cup, a cup, a cup, a cup. This cup. And this. Oh, I think I'm liking this one. I want this one. Let's do this so you can see. Did you put any spices on frozen? Yes, 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 I did. I put chili flakes, garlic powder, I put soy sauce, I put uh, the chili garlicky sauce. I did, I did. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. And nothing. <laughs> yes, 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 he is doing. <laughs> Look at this one. It's like a delayed uh, effect, do you see? <laughs> delayed effect, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'm happy we didn't lost any. <laughs> it's always so stressful when it's like, Oh, nothing is happening. What's going on? It's like, it's not, you know, you always like, oh, kombucha is like a surprise every time. <laughs> kombucha is like a surprise every time. You wonder, is gonna do a geyser or not? Some are doing, some not. I don't know. Depends. This one was in the back of the fridge, so where it's really cold. Probably this is why. But looking good. One of the bottles I saw in the shop yesterday looked exactly the same color of yours. Nice. This one I see it's with berries. And oh my god, you know when I made this one? So this one it's on March 12. March 12 I bottled it up. So this is like oh back in you know. A month ago almost. Cheers, friends. Mm. 
This is good. This is good. Living life really good. Oh my God. So good. I have here with pineapple and um, and grapes. Look at this. You can see the bubbles in the bottle. I didn't move it any. So the colors are like this separated. See? Healthy kombucha right there. Really good. Maybe kombucha with a little kick to it. <laughs> But look at this, so see the colors are, I see bubbles in the bottle. And if you do this to disperse the color from the grapes, look at this, it's like magic, like magic. This will be good batch, good batch. You can see bubbles on top of the liquid in the bottle, so good. So good. <laughs> really nice. That one is with uh, grapes, with red grapes. This one is with berries. This is so good. Cold and bubbly and not too sweet and not that look great with the colors flowing around yeah really nice i like kombucha but i heard from summer is not recommended for everyone and it may cause health issue it did so what do you think i think like everything else in life you have to use it or drink it in moderation don't go overboard with it uh, for me personally I don't have any issues with it, doesn't give me bloating or anything if I drink only one of these per day and this has um, like 500 milliliters. If I drink more than these, like two, I feel really, you know, my tummy is like gonna explode. <laughs> so I'm drinking one of these per day and I'm good to go. I don't have any other problems. And what I noticed, it's improving my digestion if I'm drinking it, you know. If I drink Pepsi, I had stomach issues from that. If I drink these, it uh, is that, that's good for my tummy, but not if I drink more than two. So now you just have to experience yourself and experiment and see if you're feeling good or not. Uh, I heard people that start drinking gradually increasing the the amount uh, because it has lots of probiotics and might take you out more often you know like uh, yeah but for me yeah you can use certain fruits you may not interact nicely with some medication yeah for some people uh, that doctor recommend not to eat grapefruit uh, they cannot use grapefruit in the kombucha either and so on yeah so you need to do your research and yeah i like i like grapefruit i don't have any restriction i don't have any health problems so for me it's good i love fruits i i already decided what fruits i like and what not for example i don't like to use kiwi for me kiwi in kombucha doesn't do anything i love to use berries grapefruit pineapple grapes only a type of grapes not all of them uh, i like uh, orange juice and margarine i don't like um what's that one that i really hate uh coconut flavor oh my god i try to use uh coconut like uh, fruit and no way coconut in kombucha for me no 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 <laughs> so you know has to be something that you hi nevi it's time to steal food i get bloated when i drink a gallon of beer <laughs> Look, Nivi, here for you. 
<laughs> and chicken. We have chicken there. Look. Kombucha is good for tummy. Makes you... <laughs> Hi, Rebecca. Let's find someone to raid, friends. Let's find someone to raid. You need to find your, your, you know, what you like in kombucha. Not all kombucha is made equal. I lost again. Gifting Rebecca. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. Woohoo! You can use ginger, you can use um, herbs like uh, rosemary, you can use lemongrass in kombucha. It's up to you. Try, experiment, you know. I used in the beginning, I make kombucha with so many fruits. Like I bought so many fruits and every bottle used to have a different flavor and a different fruit until I found the one that I liked. So when I found that, I stopped using... <laughs> yeah. Let's find someone to raid. Where I should take you? Where I should take you? So if uh, next week the weather is nice, we might do a stream in Bucharest. And um, I will try to do a stream to a store here, but I, uh, I hope the internet is going to be good. If the internet is not going to work there, um, I will just film it and uh, post it on, on YouTube as a video. They, they have music over there, so I'll have to edit the sound and everything whoa mm thank you so much i wrote mm name thank you so much whoa thank you happy easter everyone where to take you friends where to take you uh, I don't know what to take you. Uh, I don't know. Okay, I think I found someone. I think I found someone. They're eating something. Thank you so much, Morning River. Thank you so, so much. I'm gonna see you here in uh, on stream Saturday for sure and tomorrow in Discord. We're watching a movie tomorrow in Discord. Thank you so much for being here. Have an awesome day. Uh, eat good, stay safe, find reasons to smile. Thank you so so much for everything. Casco, Demon, Blue, Moo, uh, Silly, Makawaka and I lost and to all of you lurking, chatting with us. Thank you so, so much. Don't forget to join Discord movie night tomorrow and um, post pictures with everything you're cooking. Okay, I want to see. I want to see. Thank you. Cheers. See you tomorrow. Bye. I canceled the raid. What? How I did that? Raid? Come on. Oh, it says already I have in progress. I don't know what's going on. I don't see the raid. <laughs> I don't see the raid. Bye, AC Lager. Hello, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Bye, everyone. I don't see the raid. Do you see? Go with the raid, okay? I don't know where we're in raiding. It's working. It's working. He's not working. <laughs> He's not going. Why? I don't know. I don't see anything. It's a glitch from Twitch, probably. It's a glitch from Twitch. 
<laughs> Sounds nice, huh? It's a glitch from Twitch. I don't know. I don't see anything. Like, I don't see anything. 